Former Miami City Commissioner testifying today in the lawsuit filed against Commissioner Joe Carroyo by two men who claim he is using his office to try to drive them out of business. Local 10's Ian Margul reports on what happened today in court. More shocking testimony Wednesday in the federal civil trial involving City of Miami Commissioner Joe Carroyo. Carroyo is being sued by two Miami businessmen. Bill Fuller and Martin Pena for allegedly abusing his power as a commissioner to harass them and even close their properties simply because they supported Carroyo's political opponent. All right, I've turned off the mic. And, and you committed border fraud. In court Wednesday, jurors heard from former commissioner Ken Russell about this meeting from February 14th, 2019, when Carroyo and Fuller got into a heated discussion. Russell called Carroyo's actions that day embarrassing for the city. You're not going to bully me like you do the other people. Listen, I'm not intimidated Chief, here. And I'm not and this intimidated is by you. He also spoke about Carroyo's public interactions with city employees at that meeting, calling him heavy handed and saying it left many staff members feeling humiliated and demoralized. Jurors also heard more testimony from Carroyo's former chief of staff, Richie Blom, who said he saw stacks of documents about Fuller in Carroyo's home and that the commissioner had a clear disdain for the businessman. But as Carroyo watched on holding his wife's hand, his defense attorneys tried telling jurors that research was the commissioner protecting the city and not part of a personal vendetta. This is what I'm going to offer. Today's testimony from Blom was actually a continuation of his testimony from yesterday. And yesterday, he brought up a mural. It's the same mural that former uh, city manager Emilio Gonzalez brought up just a few days earlier. And apparently, there were several times when Carroyo complained about that mural right there on Calle Ocho because there were apparently, according to Carroyo, too many black people on that mural. And he didn't want visitors to think that Little Havana was a black neighborhood. Testimony continues in this case tomorrow morning. We'll keep you posted every step of the way. Live in Miami, I'm Ian Margle, Local 10 News.